Hi guys, how are you? I hope you're doing well. So today we are going to continue our topic uh, talking about experiences and achievements. So it's important that we know what's an experience and what is an achievement, right? So let's start with experiences first. What is an experience? Well, it's something that happened to me, like a story, like something I lived, right? So for example, you can see on the screen experience that someone is talking about. It says, when I was studying, I had a great business idea. So an experience is something that happened to me in the past, right? Something that is completely in the past. That is why it's my experience. So, for example, this person is telling the story that when it says, when I was studying, I had a great business idea. So, take a look at the two verbs that we have, one in blue and one in red, right? Can you identify what kind of verb these are? So obviously, the one in blue is the one that we call past continuous, right? I was studying. And the one in red, well, it's the one that we call simple past. So do you remember these two tenses? Let's give it a quick review so you, we can recapitulate how to use these two tenses, right? Okay, so the past continuous in case you don't remember, right? It is formed with the verb to be in simple past. Remember that the verb to be has two different forms for simple past. It could be the verb, the conjugation was, or it can be the conjugation were. And if you remember, we use each conjugation depending on the subject. If the subject is singular, I mean one person, I, a, he, she, or it, the verb it's going to be was. And if the subject is plural, we, you, they, the verb to be is where. Right? You remember that? Excellent. And the other thing that forms the past continuous is the verb in gerund. If you remember gerund are the verbs that finish with the letters I and G. So we have for example I was studying, he was working, we were jogging or they were doing something. So you have to keep in mind that to make a sentence in past continuous, you need three elements and they are very necessary. Because if you don't include any of these three elements, the sentence is incorrect. You need the subject first. It can be the pronoun, I, he, we, they. It could be the name of the person, Mary, John, Mike, etc. Or it could be the description of who the subject is. My teacher, my friends, the dog, school, etc. Then we need the verb to be, that in this case is the auxiliary. If your sentence doesn't have the verb to be, if it doesn't have was or where, it's wrong. If you say something like I studying, that is completely incorrect, okay? And then after the verb to be, you need the verb in gerund form. If the verb doesn't have gerund form, if the verb doesn't have I, A, and G, that is incorrect too. For example, you cannot say something like, I was a study, that's wrong, right? You need to include, I was a studying. That is how we form the past continuous, right? Okay, now let's check the simple past. The simple past that is right here, that is in red. Well, that is simple because the verbs have a conjugation and that's it. You don't need an auxiliary verb, you don't need anything else. For example, the conjugation in past of the verb study is studied, right? The conjugation of the verb work is worked, right? Of the verb jog is jogged. Or the verb do, that is an irregular verb, is did. 
So for the simple past, you need to remember two things. First of all, if it is a regular verb, you need to keep in mind the correct pronunciation. I hope you have watched the pronunciation video and that you have practiced it because pronunciation is very important, okay? And if it's an irregular verb, well, you need to remember what the conjugation is because there are no rules, right? Well, this is just a review because obviously we have previously studied simple past and we have previously studied past continuous, right? Now, let's remember in what situation we need to use one or we need to use the other. So, when do we use past continuous? We use past continuous when we are describing a situation, right? For example, we are saying, oh, uh, my friend was sitting. It's not like the main idea, I'm just describing what was happening, right? Or we can use it if the action was like interrupted and we don't know if the action finished. For example, this person says, I was studying. We don't know if they finished studying because something came to interrupt it. I was studying, for example, when you called and it was interrupted. I was studying, but I couldn't finish, so that was interrupted, okay? Those are the situations when we are going to use the past continuous, exactly like in Spanish, right? Estaba estudiando, estaba trabajando, estaba haciendo, etc. And the simple past, we use it when the action is complete and the end is clear. For example, I think you cannot see it very well, but it says I studied, right? So. When I say I studied, I imply that I finished. I studied and then I took a nap, for example. But the action of studying was complete. So that's the most important difference that you have to keep in mind, okay? Simple, when your action was finished, for example, you can say, oh, I watched a movie. That means you finished watching the movie. But if you said, oh, you know, I was watching a movie, but that probably implies that you didn't get to finish it, right? Okay, so I hope the difference is clear when we use one and when we use the other. So now, let's talk about achievement. What's the difference between an achievement and an experience? Check the next video and we're going to talk about it.